Hey guys, I'm True T TJ. Thanks for tuning in and remember, like, comment, and subscribe. What up YouTube? It's your girl True T TJ. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Um if you guys don't know, I am new to um YouTube. So <clears throat> I'm just trying this out, trying to, you know, see what I can do, see what I can accomplish. You know, all that fun stuff, all that great jazz. Okay. So, how I came out to my mom was... Uh, okay. So, how I came out to my mom was... It wasn't like your typical coming out whatever... Like, I didn't, like, sit her down and was just like, oh, mom, I got to tell you something. This is my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, so how I came out to my mom is she actually, like, caught me in the act. Like, I was dating this girl from another high school. I was... Sorry, I can't get my shit together. I was dating this girl from another high school. I was 17. And, man, I was dating for, like, a while. And she just kept on saying, you know... Oh, you know, I want us to take our relationship further. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we should, you know, do the nasty, whatever. So I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. But I was like, you know, when you're 17, you know that you're attracted to women, but you don't know everything that comes with the territory of being attracted to a woman. And that that's what I, I had a problem with. Like, I just thought when <laughs> you be with someone... Like, y'all just kiss a little bit, hug a little bit, and then y'all just be together forever. I was so, I was so naive. Like, I was so naive. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, so when I, she invited me, I invited her over to my place. And my mom was the type of mom when she gets mad at you or she feels like, you know what I'm saying, she wants you to do something at some particular time and she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to, she never whooped me unless I deserved to be, to get a whooping. She will always like take things from me because she know that I'm materialistic when it comes to certain things. So she will be like, oh, you know, you don't want to clean up your room, so I'm going to take your doorknob. Or you, you want to sit here and talk on the phone after I told you to get off the phone by 9 o'clock, I'm going to take your whole fucking door. Like, that's the type of woman that she was. Like, she was crazy, yo. Like, I was just like, you crazy. So, whatever. So, at this particular time, my mom was mad at me about some reason. I can't even remember why she was mad at me, to be honest with you. But she had took my doorknob off my door. So I didn't have a doorknob. And the way my mom and my uh, room was that her room was right here. My room was right there. So it was right next to each other. So she works at night. So she'd be at home during the daytime. But majority of the time, she'd be asleep. Like if it's no sports on or no soap opera on, this lady be knocked out. So I invited her over to the house to watch a movie after she finished with her practice, her basketball practice or whatever. So she had came over and like we was sitting on the floor because my bed was right by my door. So I was just like, you know, let's sit on the floor. Maybe, you know, we can put it dark in here. Like I had put curtains up and everything like the day before just so I can, you know, it'll be dark or whatever. So she had came over and we started watching the movie and I was just like, you know, we got to be quiet because my mom was in the next room. So, you know, like let's try to be quiet. So long story short. We started kissing. We started making out heavily. And then um, I started, like, you know, unbuckling her pants and, and you know, doing what you do. <laughs> and next thing you know, my mom just walked in. But, you know, at the time, now that I think about it, I was, like, I was actually happy that she walked in and, and kind of caught me because I, I felt pressured. She was just like, Tasha, who is that? And I was just like, what are you talking about? And she was just like, who, who is that on the floor? And I ain't going to say the girl name, but whatever. If she see this video, she'll probably remember it. And then be like, oh, bitch, that was me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever. So I was just like, oh, it's such and such, whatever like that. She was like, what are you doing? And I was just like, nothing. Was like, is that a boy or is it a girl? And I was just like, it's a girl. And she was like, a girl. She was to turn them lights on, and she was just like, get the fuck out of here. Like, she started going off on them girls, calling all kinds of names. You know what I'm saying? Bull dagger. My mom, 
Her favorite lesbian term or whatever she liked to say was bull dagger, carpet muncher, all that stuff. So y'all get my drift. Like, look, I'm going to tell y'all about my mom in another video, but this is the video of, uh, you know, how I came out. Whatever. So she calling her all these names, blah, 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 woo, -de -woo, woo, and I'm just sitting there just like upset. And she looking at me like, well, what should I do? And I'm just like, girl, get the fuck out. Like, go on. Like, go home. I jumped on my bed. And my mom was just like, so is this who you are? Is this what you're doing? Like, why are you doing this to me? Like, am I not a good mother to you? Like, she just started going off. <clears throat> and I'm just sitting there like, I don't know. I don't know. But the whole time she going off, y'all. Like, she's sitting here hitting me. She's sitting here pulling my hair. She's sitting here punching me in my back. Like, I'm just balled up in, like, some kind of fetal position, trying not to let her, like, hit me in my face or whatever like that. So, she's just going off, going off, blah, blah, So, this had to be, like, around 6 o'clock at night. Like, like, And like I said before, my mom worked nights. So, she'll go to work. She'll start to get dressed, like, around 9. And then she'll be out the door by, like, um, 9.30, 9.40 or whatever like that. And then, you know, I think she had to make it to work for like 10. And then she don't get off work until like 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning. So, around 9, 10, 9, 15, I always start to do her hair. Because mom, she had arthritis. So, it's kind of hard for her to like curl her hair and stuff like that. So, she's always made me do her hair. Like, literally, I did her hair every night. You know, for years. Since I was like in middle school, I did her hair. All the way up into high school. So, but this particular night, you know, I had, you know had to do her hair and so <laughs> oh my god and so like I remember I was trying so hard to pretend like I was asleep and I was just like oh god hopefully she'll ask my sister to do it but no no she asked me to do her hair so I had to go do this lady hair after all that happened Jesus Christ <laughs> so okay whatever so I went she called me in uh, to do her hair so I went in there and I did her hair. And like, it was good. Like I was at the back, I was curling her hair. I was combing it and I was curling it. I was combing it and I was curling it. I was just like, okay, she ain't said shit about it. So I'm going to do this shit real fast. Like I was doing it fast as fuck. Like I literally burnt her a couple times, but I was just like, I was gonna fuck. I was just curling shit up real quick. Get the hell up out of here. Cause I don't want to talk about what just happened like two hours ago. So, oh my Lord. So shh. The minute, like, I got almost up to the top of her hair, I remember. It. And she was just like, so, this is who you are now? This this is what you want to do? And I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sitting there acting stupid. Like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, like, two hours ago. So, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, mama. So, I don't know. She was like, so, I, I guess I'll never have to, you know, I guess I will never see grandkids. Or I'll never see you get married. She just started going off the deep end. And I was just like, Mama, I still plan on, like, having kids and getting married. Like, that ain't going to, that, I ain't said I didn't want to do that. She was like, well, how you going to get married? How you going to have kids with a girl? What you going to do, Tosh? What you going to do? And I'm just like. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just, uh, whatever. And so, she was just like, just tell me now. Am I a bad mom? Why do all parents think just because they kids come out liking the same sex that it has something to do with them? Not all lesbians or gays or transgenders or anything had bad childhood experience. Let's just start there. Like, I just want y'all to know, like, I'm I'm not gay because I got raped by any of a, any one of my family members. I'm not gay. Because I didn't have bad experiences with guys. Like, I'm not a lesbian because, you know, whatever people think, that is not the case. Like, I am honestly a lesbian because I feel like I just like women. Period. I love them. I had a really good childhood. I'm not even going to lie. I was raised up in a household with very loving sisters and a very loving mother. And... I'm really cool with all my nieces. I'm cool with my nephews. I'm really cool with my great nephews and nieces. So I just, I was raised up in a, you know, your regular, you know, household, I guess. We wasn't rich and we wasn't poor. But at the end of the day, like, we loved each other. So, yeah. Okay. So, back to the story. <sighs> so I was just like, it ain't got nothing to do with you, moms. Like, I ain't. 
I ain't got, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, I'm, I, I don't know what to say. And so, like, she asked me the question, like, so are you gay now? Like, are you attracted to women? Like, she just, it's embarrassing. <laughs> so, I just blurred out. And I was just like, you know what, Mom? I am gay. I do love women. And I plan on being with a woman. And <laughs> Some of them was gay boys because I had to throw her off my set because she, she was just too much sometimes. So I just had to like throw her off my set. So she started crying again. She started crying again. So yeah, she went to work. Like that was it. She went to work. You know what I'm saying? I guess for a while we try to like like forget about it but the type of person that i am i'm not like once the cat out the bag baby she out the bag you feel me so i'm not gonna let you forget about it because at the end of the day like this is not just this is not just a phase i'm going through like this is a lifestyle like and i want you to understand that like this is not just and one thing that i know for sure is that if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. So I felt like at that per time, at per time, I feel like at that moment, I had to just be like, I'm sticking to it. Like, like it's no. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I'm not doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. That was my coming out story. Like, that's how she found out. And I stuck to my guns. And... She was hurt. She was mad, but I started to, I had to make her learn to accept it. Like, it was just like, look, you my mom and all, but this is my life. I'm, I'm, that's the type of person I am. Like, this is my life to live. This is my one life to live. And I'm going to live it the way I want to live it. Yes, I'm going to live it clean. And yes, I'm going to live it, you know, you know, realistically. Or whatever, and I'm not gonna sit here and let people tell me what to do or try to run my life or anything like that because at the end of the day, like I don't know what's gonna happen when it's all over. I don't know if I'm gonna come back and get just and have a new chance and a new life. I don't know that. I just know for the now and for right now, I feel like I'm just tired of hiding. So <clears throat> once my once you know once that happened and she realized, you know what I'm saying. That she was about to have a gay daughter. I don't know. We started to get into it more and stuff like that. It's a blessing and it's a curse that she caught me that night. But I look at the more I look at more on the blessing side because I was finally I feel like I was finally able to just like be myself, be me. And yeah. Sorry, mom. And um she finally came to her senses and was just like, you know, I love you and I'd rather have you as a daughter in my life than not have you at all. And she was just like, and if that's the lifestyle that you that you feel like that you want to live, then I'm 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 all for it. You know, she she was just like, you know, just give me some time, you know, but you know, like I want us to be good together again. And, you know, that's all I wanted from my mom. And it took months for it to happen. Some people, it don't even happen for, and I'm so grateful that it actually happened to me and we was able to get over our differences and, you know, go back to being a mother and daughter, the loving family that I, I, I wanted from her. And, you know, I forgave her. She's my mom. She's always been there for me. And we was able to get past it. And, you know, the next couple of years during her life, it was really good. It was really, really good. And then she got sick and, you know, it, it turned for the worse. But I'm glad that we had that opportunity to make amends before she passed. And I'm just so grateful for the mom that I have. So, yeah. But that's my story. So thank y'all for watching my video. I appreciate it. Okay. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So, yeah. I just want to thank y'all for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to come up with some more ideas but to, for more videos. Um, but if you guys want me to talk about something, you know, you heard or you seen or whatever, uh, just leave me a little, little, little comment. Okay? And like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all so much.